There's a uh, painting of a uh, famous mountain man, Jim Baker. And uh, you look at his clothing, and I'm going to put a photograph up here on uh, the video. If you look at his clothing, he looks Indian as far as the clothing goes. That's all quill work. Now, I think a lot of that was for show. Time to play with some clay. I'm making the hat that he's going to either wear or hold on to. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I've got something that I use for the uh, support of the clay because the clay won't support itself. But I've got something in, under the clay that uh, helps to support the clay and I, I show how to use that in uh, I think one of my or maybe even two of my uh, instructional DVDs or not DVDs by instructional videos I can no longer do instructional DVDs because my damn DVD burner doesn't work you may ask yourself, why has Mr. Lemon cut the top of the head off? Well, it's because I'm going to fit on the hat, and I got to be able to put it on the head and have it evenly go around the head. And the only way to do that is cut the top off. I've got to be able to fit this hat down over his head. So I'm making a bubble for the uh, brim, or the uh, crown of the hat. They weren't really high crowns. It wasn't the style. I'll come back when I get this a little further along. I'm going to put some detail into the uh, edge of the hat as well. Now you would think that the uh, hat brim would be perfectly round, but it isn't. That's because of the shape of the head. The shape of the head is more oblong. And so that would make the front and the back longer well it's it makes the whole brim oblong not perfectly round and so I'm just evening out the uh, brim a little bit Now I'm trying to anchor in the crown. It takes quite a while to get a hat to where it looks like a hat instead of just something sitting on his head.
I make some anybody that wears a hat knows that they grab certain areas of it and they eventually you're gonna dent her crease in it because that's where your hand goes You get dense when you just lay it down someplace. Don't want to get crazy with it, but a hat that's been used a lot gets its own personality after a while, and somebody could look at somebody from behind and know exactly who it is just from the dents in his hat. What I'm doing is basically putting a personality into the hat. All right, I'm just uh, continuing to put on these uh, stitches on the edge of the rim. Using monster clay that I ran through a pasta machine so that they all come out uniform. So I don't have wider ones and narrower ones. All right, I got a bunch of strands. I ran these off months ago. I was working on Crazy Horse, and this was going to be the fringe for Crazy Horse. And I didn't need it, so I set it aside and never throw anything away. You never know. Now, I think what I want to do, I don't want to make it three strands. I think I'll make it two strands. Just got to take one set away.
That doesn't look too bad. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do today is uh, paint this stitching and the wrap so that it looks like the clay. Now, for those of you who have followed me over the years, know that I've got paint mixed up to match the color of the clay. Now, it goes on bright, but when it dries, it gets dull. It just uh, makes it less confusing for the eye when looking at the finished clay. It doesn't detract from the casting. It doesn't do anything to affect that at all. It just makes it less confusing to the eye when somebody's seeing a piece like, say, in a gallery setting or something like that while it's in clay. What I did is I took a sample of the clay into a paint shop, or in my case here in Montana, where I live, a local True Value store, and they matched the color of that uh, piece of clay and mixed me up uh, a batch of uh, indoor matte finished clay, I mean, paint. <laughs> I'm getting confused here. Now you'll see that when this dries, it gets less bright. And it's not shiny like it is right now because it's wet. It's, indoor, it's an indoor paint and it's water soluble. In other words, I can take this brush when I get done painting this and go wash it off. All right, there's the hat on. And uh, I've got to do a, some positioning and make sure everything is right, but I'm going to leave that the way it is right now until it uh, dries. So I'll pick this up uh, next time. Good night, everybody. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.